Hello and welcome to another episode of Salem Volupia. Um, one of the jobs we're going to do in this video is the stickers on the coach roof all the way around and possibly the original ones. Uh, they're all sun cracked and old and peeling off in places. So we're going to get, get them off today and then uh, got a couple of options. So if you have a look here. So we're on, on a website called uh, Funky Monkey Boat Names, which looks one of the, the better ones that I've found. And it's these stripes here that I'm going to looking at changing. So on here, but coming up is a little bit expensive. And then one of the other ones, uh, other ideas I've got is to get it all off. And then we can use Toplock. Uh, I'm on the Vision Marine website here, which is quite cheap. It's uh, just under 26 quid with them. So I'm going to know Adam which one to do. If to order the decals or to just uh, get it all off and then um, paint it with Toplock. It'll be a lot more preparation if you use the top black, but faster and uh, easier if you just use the tape stuff. But a bit unsure which one to do, yeah, but we'll give it a try. Right. Right, it comes off quite easy. Well, I figured out as I work further along there, you can see a lot less mess started here. And uh, the faster you went, it just ends up pushing it over, uh, like flipping as it turns to sort of liquidy, mushy, and, and then sticks everywhere. But well, I've got most of it off, and bought this stuff, goo gum. I don't know if you can hear that very sticky where, where the stickers have been for 30 odd years if they're the original ones so I'm gonna give this stuff a try see if this works so uh, use this Kugon stuff a little bit of scratch paste and you can see how it's coming up it's not sticky anymore it's quite good stuff though never heard of it before but I found it on Amazon I think it was about a tenner or something Quite good. Probably just saved me hours. So you used that goo stuff on the uh, goo gun and it got all the stickiness off, which is quite good. You can see a little bit lumpy where um, it's left behind. So you've got one of these called caramel wheels. Uh, Amazon for, I'll put the link in the description. Amazon for. I think about a five or something, but you just rub it on and it goes. Uh, I didn't use the heat gun on the other side, which I'll show you that in a sec, and I used this to get the whole thing off, which is quite good. And be aware about that bit, but it's worn down because I've done all the port sides of the boat. So I'll put that rubber wheel this side and you can see it's taken turn it off nicely. I uh, wanted to do one side with a heat gun and then uh, this side with that little caramel wheel. Heat gun side probably took me 20 minutes, half an hour. This side probably took me about two hours. So it's a lot longer, but it's a lot cleaner job and you don't need that goo off stuff because the, the wheel takes the goo off. They wear down pretty fast as well, you can see it all here. But I'm gonna give that uh, I'm gonna give that a clean up and then uh, it's getting a bit late now so I might paint it tomorrow but I've also cleaned 
and sort it out that wood today and then we'll start uh, working our way down here over these parts uh, over the next couple of weeks. Jenny busy here, uh, taper up there. We had a little spillage there. Nightmare. So the first coat just left a couple of little white lines. So Jen's going around giving it a second coat now. Give us an hello, Jenny. Hello. We thought it was going to go on a lot easier and better, so here we are, second coat. Gracias. 